a so-called road to nowhere is finally looking like it'll reopen later this year. ODOT has hired a new contractor for the Enola Bridge after the last contractor was in default. News Channel 8 CJ Macklin has been following this story since June of last year. He joins us now with more from Enola. CJ. <coughs> That's right, I received a text from this gentleman every single week about this story since I did it, about the Inola, Inola Bridge. This time it was a little bit different when he texted me. He says, hey, CJ, I think I heard about a contractor that started on this bridge, so I reached out to some people, I reached out to some sources, and he was indeed correct. A new contractor has started on the Inola Bridge. This new contractor, you know, we'd, we've done work with them uh, in several places across, uh, across the state, so we, we know their record, we know that they're, they're a good contractor, um, and they're going to get the work done for us. This bridge in Inola was supposed to be finished in June of 2022. It is almost two years later, and Inola residents are still waiting for the 590 bridge to be completed. Well, now it looks like the wait is over, as new contractor, Paragon contractors are already on the bridge working this week. According to ODOT, Paragon has worked on multiple projects in Sand Springs, such as Main Street and downtown. They also have done work between Bartlesville and Dewey on Bison Road. But the question many want to know the answer to. Are they picking up where the last contractor left off? Or are they starting all the way over? How is that process going? Um, it's not going to start completely over, but the, the new contractor uh, has taken a look at the current site conditions. There is a little bit that's going to have to be redone. Uh, so, you know, they're not going to take a completely fresh start, but they are going to have to redo a little bit of the work. Gerlach says this project is only 40 to 45 percent complete. We reported back in August of last year that it was about 50 to 60 percent complete, and that was from ODOT as well. They also tell me today that the bridge is expected to be done, weather permitting, in 140 days. They're hoping by Labor Day. But will this cost taxpayers more money since the first contractor fell through? Uh, so since this went to the bondholder, this shouldn't uh, cost the taxpayers any more than the original contract, which was $2.8 million. ODOT says the bondholder works like an insurance claim, and because of that, they will not be taking any legal action against the previous contractor. ODOT says Paragon contractors will start with the netting process to keep birds and sometimes bats from around the bridge and change the traffic control signs that were used from the previous contractor. The last ODOT payment that was received was May of last year. So before this week, there hasn't been any done, any work done on this bridge behind me in almost a year. Live in Inola, I'm CJ Macklin, Lucian 8.